finally I found the NGC 2959. This is one of the faintest members of the M81 groups of galaxies. Uh, they may not be related to each other, I have to look into this, but they're close in the sky to each other. So for finding this, I went to the uh, M81, then went to the NGC 21, 2976, and it's slightly in this Newtonian telescope. Uh, one field of view uh, with this 13 millimeter, uh, uh, sorry, 20 millimeter, 100 degree eyepiece. To the left, I found this uh, asterism, which looks a little bit like Aquarius, like a letter M almost. Very extended, of course. And uh, two and a half times to the right of that asterism of M-shaped stars is a very faint glow. You have to use averted vision. It's very faint. It's difficult to see. 20, NGC 2959 is that one. Uh, NGC 2959 is one of the faintest galaxies I've seen with this telescope. Is magnitude 12.69. You can say 12.7 or near 13. And uh, I'm really pleased. Uh, you need a aperture of 10 inch or more in the reflector, or will be around 5 to 6 inch in a refractor. And now it's the next day in the morning and uh, I have looked in many sources. I couldn't find uh, about this. Uh, even in this NGC Atlas photographic, photographic NGC Atlas by the Olivier Godal. Uh, in the two page which is about the M81, M82 and this is this group of galaxies here no mention of the NGC 2959 uh, what I understand from this is that the magnitude of this object which is 12.69 in Wikipedia is 12.8 is beyond the range of the uh, achievement by this uh, uh, by this atlas or any source that I have and uh, almost nobody has uh, you know any observation uh, as far as I can see uh, recorded observation forums uh, I've looked uh, I have not seen so uh, I looked in the Wikipedia there is no English page for that but I think it's either Czech or Polish language one or Swedish there is a page for it and I translated it and it says 220 million light years away. That's one of the farthest objects I've ever seen except the quasar 3, uh, 3C200 something. Uh, that quasar, famous quasar, the first quasar discovered. 273 I think. Uh, or 270. Anyway, uh, that's the farthest object so far I have seen with uh, with my 12 inch uh, uh, Sky Watcher Skyliner Flex Tube uh, 300P, and uh, this is first because uh, I was able to get good charts of this. I have included all of them for you. You can use them. Second was that because uh, uh, I had the right instrument, I had the right uh, eyepiece. I use a 20 millimeter APM. You can use any eyepiece in that range, and uh, it was uh, able to show me this. Um, or 13 millimeter I was using also and be beside that I think that my dark sky was really good I contacted uh, one of the you know light polluters around us just politely writing an email asking them if they 
if they wish to know more about the night of sky and such things i can be you know helping them if they want also i mentioned gently that there is a light pollution problem from the premises and it seems it was uh, it has worked i can see now to the depth of this atlas and beyond i have seen things that this atlas doesn't cover so for me that was a big achievement i'm now entering the <laughs> the the realm of the hickson group observers guide which i have now to you know achieve more on this just looking at them just probably i will find and that's great 220 million 202 million light years light years away is nothing close to the m81 m82 group of galaxies farther away than that probably 10 times more farther and I could see it the photons of that galaxy has reached my eyes I feel blessed even the night sky observers guide volume 2 spring and summer by these two authors which is mostly copied from the or uh, copied from Wikipedia or Wikipedia is copied from this doesn't have any mention of this galaxy so <laughs> this is a challenge uh, i think that uh, nobody else has watched it let me just check this hickson group also just to see if there is a mention of this there okay this is the page relevant page for this so ngc3193 and then ngc 393091 and then ngc2783 so it should be here is not there and we are in the orso major and it's not there also if, if, you, if it was mentioning it it was here so this source also uh, i checked the galaxy uh, galaxy book of the the vancouveris that's uh, vancouver is whatever is name, french name uh, it is not mentioned there also so in classification of the galaxies which has he has done uh, is modified hubble one that's not there mentioned